Hi. We uh, decided to put uh, an on-demand hot water system into our camper trailer that we converted an old cargo trailer into. Um, we decided to go with on-demand because it's quick. You don't have to preheat a tank or carry all the extra water and heat up like five or ten gallons of water at one time. So we went with this eco temp heater. I bought it on Amazon. It's a fairly simple, lightweight, only weighs about 10 pounds, I think. Um, a lot of people put these inside their trailers, I've noticed. Uh, but what I thought about that is it's not a really good idea because I don't have the space for them. And they are designed for outdoor use only, and the CO is an issue. There's a pretty hot flame front out of them when you fire them up. So I figured I'd just mount it on the outside of the camper. Just quick, easy to use, and I only need them at night when we set up for the for a day or a couple of days at a spot. We don't need them one run, so the hot water isn't necessary. I didn't want to put it in the trailer because I'm adding all the weight to. If I add a full propane tank and I add a jug of water, for instance, so I've got water whether I'm at a site or on the side of the parking area or wherever I am, um, I'm going to add about 90 pounds all up in the front. And the tongue weight on the trailer is already maybe 13%. You want it between 10 and 15, so I didn't want to add that 90 pounds. So I stow them either in the back of the trailer or in the pickup truck that I used to haul it with. So that's a bit of a what and why of what we did. Uh, in a second, I'm going to show you uh, how we put it together and how we did it. Um, first, I really appreciate it if you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Uh, I'd be very grateful if you did that. It motivates me and keeps me wanting to share these little projects I'm always up to. In order to uh, mount it on the front of the trailer, it's a round nose trailer, um, I took some of the screws out, the original factory screws, I took a couple out, got longer ones, and then I put a little washer and a quarter inch OD piece of copper tubing that I screwed on it so I can screw them in tight. They sit there, they look nice and clean and neat. They're never loose and I don't have to ever move them. And you can see you don't even notice they're there at all. Setup's pretty quick on these, pretty simple. I just take the heater, I put a little bit of duct tape on the back not to scratch up the paint, and I literally just slide it over those screws I showed you, drop her in place. She's on. That's all there is to that. Rigged up this little hose from our little Onan 12 volt pump. Drop it in the tank. I cut a little notch out of the bottom of this stiff tube so that it won't uh, get plugged on the bottom, but it will definitely go to the bottom. And that picks up my fresh water. Cold water goes into the trailer. And I hook up an extra cold wire to feed the heater.
for the shower. That comes with it, by the way, which is kind of nice. It's a decent little shower head. I just hooked up over on the side. I'm not sure you can see it. Right there. That little plastic motor stays on the trailer permanently. Got the shower head. Quick connector to the hot water. This goes off to the shower head. This one tees off and goes into my second tap, which is my hot water. the trailer for the sink inside. So if you want to just do a couple of dishes in the sink or if you want to, you know, shave or just wash your face and hands with hot water, we got it in there if we want. We can have it in there and out here or separate them so it's just out here or just in there. Whatever we happen to do on the side of the road or of course somewhere for the night. Great little pump we got. It's an Onsen 12 volt. I love it. You hook it up, pressurize it. 12 volt battery, just a couple of clamps on it. When it gets up the pressure, it shuts itself off. When you start drawing water from it, it automatically kicks back on. So there's no on off switch. You've always got pressurized water as long as the thing's hooked up. It's an awesome little pump. Awesome. A little heat shield comes with the heater, just drops on like that, and so there's to it. Underneath the heater is decels power, you just turn that on. I've got these settings they control the amount of gas, higher, hotter flame, or uh, you can lessen the amount of water flow to regulate the temperature. I don't feel the need to have it inside so you can adjust the temperature because it's like any hot water heater. You, once you set a hot water heater, do you ever change the setting on the one in your house? No. You get it where you want it, you find that sweet spot, leave it. So, if I run this thing, now, the water I got in this jug, Right now it's about 50.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Hope you can read that. When you want to use the water, you literally just turn it on at the shower head. There's really no off button on it. Oh, if I turn it on to full pain. Try that again. Fire this up right away. Two seconds. I'm getting hot water. I love it. That water coming out of there. Right now it's 72 degrees. And 76.1 right now. And it'll hold that certainly long after you shower or whatever it is you want to do. heater automatically shuts itself off too so it's it's pretty nice simple straightforward setup it only takes me a couple minutes to hook it up when I want it 
It's a great little system. Enjoy. Here's the view that I thought was in the frame when I was showing you how this thing worked, but it wasn't. Those lines go down here. There's my water. There's my tank. There's my cold and hot water inlets. Got the cold in from the pump. This one goes into the trailer to the sink. You can see that part of, in my previous video. This one goes and feeds the heater, the cold water supply, and the hot water supply comes, sorry, down, tees off to the shower, and also goes into the trailer. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Bye for now.